Good morning, everybody. How are the girlies looking so cute when they wake up? Because this is genuinely how I woke up. <laughs> okay, I really need to fix this. This is this is horrendous. Oh, Stella heard the vlog starting, so she had to come and see what's going on. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the first work vlog of 2023. I actually don't even remember the last work vlog I filmed. Would it have been my conference in November? It might have been, but I'm filming a little work days, work week. It's kind of hard. What is the definition of a work week when I only work three days a week? You know, is it the full three days? Is anything less work days in my life? I don't know, but welcome to the vlog. If you guys are new here, let me give you a little bit of backstory on myself. When I graduated in 2020, I was like a nine to five vlogger. That I feel like is how a lot of people found me and whatnot. And I loved sharing my journey and work week vlogs but that quickly just became my whole identity on YouTube. And obviously I'm so much more than just a corporate employee and I wanted my content to kind of reflect in that. So I completely stopped the work videos for a while. And then this year I decided to bring them back once in a while just because, but not like in a traditional sense, like I really don't talk too much about work. I really just like to make it like a normal week in my life where like, yeah, I do work a nine to five. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not going to be like really focused on work because I don't know about you guys, but I don't like to watch a lot of work week videos because when I am trying to escape work, I don't really want to watch videos about work. So I don't talk too much about work, but I do just think it's fun to vlog it. And I'm going to start traveling for work here in the next like month or so because conferences are picking up. And so I just thought it'd be fun to document once in a while, but yeah, I do really enjoy the work week videos. They're kind of just like normal week of my life where I'm just like happen to be working. Um, but I realized there's so much more to me than just being a corporate employee. Like, that's not my sole identity. And yeah, but welcome to a little work week vlog. I'm so excited to take you guys along. If you guys are new, you're probably wondering, Carter, what do you do for work? Hi, hello. I've been with my current hospital for five years and my current role is an academic coordinator. So I am responsible for a department in the hospital and I do about 50% HR, 50% event coordination. And yeah, so the conference I'm heading to at the end of the month is actually one that I'm planning and running and all that jazz. So I'm really excited, but that is my job. I'm like a hybrid employee, but I don't have a set, like I have to go in a certain amount of days a week schedule. I haven't been into the office since November. That's crazy. And yeah, now that a lot of other people are back in the office, I just think it would be good for me to go back in and like socialize. But the issue with that is that I'm very introverted. So it can come across as me kind of being a B-I-T-C-H because I don't want to talk to people. And like I'm there to work, you know what I mean? So I just want to like, I don't know. I want to work on that professionally this year. Um, and yeah, when I was going in, when I first started my job, cause it'll be a year in February, everyone was working from home just with like, obviously the pandemic still, but then people slowly started coming back in this summer. And then this summer I got COVID and then I had long COVID. And so I haven't really been in much, but I think it'll be good. My only like anxiety about it is that I just don't focus well in the office. Like I really love working from home. And it is currently minus 21 degrees outside, which is minus 2.2 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna start my work day from the couch today just cause it's really cold and I wanna be cozy. And can you guys relate? I am the most productive from the couch. I don't know what it is. I have this nice ergonomic work setup and I'm the most productive from the couch. Someone explain that to me. I don't know, but good morning. Welcome to the vlog. Do you want to say good morning to the vlog? Do you guys, do you want to say good morning? I'm Sawa Rooney and I'm a very cute girl. Good morning, guys. I was just working when my door opened and I was like so confused. I thought Matt was like coming home like he was sick or something. Because <laughs> the door was open and I was like, oh my God, someone's trying to break into the house. But it was just the really nice delivery man. I was not expecting our cozy couch to come so quick. But I'm so excited. We're going to put it together probably tonight. We're actually working with them on Instagram and on YouTube. Like we're collaborating, which is so exciting. And I can't wait to get rid of our couch because we just hate it so much. So we have eight boxes. And yeah, basically everything comes in in these like boxes and they're really lightweight too if you're in like an apartment like i was able to lift these no problem and you don't need tools or anything to put it together which is so exciting i kind of smushed all those toys in the corner but very very exciting so we'll do this when matt comes home brewed a pot of like half calf coffee so i did two scoops of decaf two scoops of like regular coffee 
because it's a two coffee kind of day, baby. too loud i swear it always turns on the second i turn on my camera but as you saw we were a gal on the go on our lunch break and then i got home and i had to get right back to work like my hour was up between like running those errands really quick and then also taking still around the block and i don't know if anyone can relate but i get really anxious when i have a package that is coming and it's like out for delivery but i need to sign for it like they won't leave it so my new phone is out for delivery and they're not gonna obviously leave an iphone at your door but i didn't want to move my nail appointment so i literally was like rushing rushing i tell you and it's still not here so anyways got my nails done you guys are probably thinking carter you literally just said you want to start doing your own nails and i'm gonna be honest with you guys i tried and it's just not for me i tried i'm gonna return the kit like get my money back i tried i feel like that's all that matters i did not find it fun or enjoyable or relaxing like when i go to the nail salon it's like one of the only forms of self-care that i do and i find it really relaxing to like get out of the house and go to the nail salon and i just didn't like doing it myself i'm also just not coordinated and they looked really bad so if getting my nails done is like the only self-care that i do like i'm okay spending that money and plus i do um i do my own nails so it's not as expensive as it used to be but with that being said i jumped on the chrome trend so look at my cutie nails i did get them cut a little bit they were a lot longer than this but my nail lady is actually heading back home until march so they're gonna have other people at the salon but they're only gonna be open on the weekend so i wanted to just kind of get them trimmed down as much as possible that way, you know, less upkeep while she's gone. The nice thing about getting your own nails done is that it doesn't take as long. So I'm in and out of the nail salon in like less than 40 minutes. And I know I say this all the time, but living in the suburbs is just so elite. Like I could never be a city girl because I was able to go get my nails done, pick up flash food on the way home, groceries, walk Stella and be back at my desk within the hour. Like it was immaculate. So with that being said i have a little flash food haul for you guys which if you guys don't know flash food is a canadian app and it is amazing the grocery stores can post their food that's about to expire so whether it's like bakery produce meat like anything and it's usually like 50 to 75 percent off that is how we are able to save a lot of money on groceries because guess what you just throw it in the freezer we throw everything in the freezer and it lasts longer too like for example if we buy a six pack of bagels that go bad tomorrow you just throw them in the freezer and then you just take them out as you need them so you guys are always asking how we save money on groceries and that's how we do it and then i feel like we feel less guilty getting cool things like so for example i was able to get these like little cronuts which i wouldn't normally get because they were what full price they were 349 and i got them for like a dollar so i gave you guys a little haul and especially now with having a juicer juicing is so expensive so I feel like using this is a great way to save money and use up products that's about to go bad and reduce food waste and all that stuff. The app is free, but I have a referral code I'll put on the screen for you guys because I think if you use my code, we each get like $10 or something in like free rewards to use. So I love that. All of this was $13, but wait till you see what's in here. So first thing I got was two sesame bagels and I love that they keep the original price on them. So they were originally $1.50. I got them for 70 cents, so they were half off. Pea meal, pea meal bacon i got for a dollar 75 which is awesome this goes bad on january 15th and i'm just gonna freeze it we got some deli meat this is one of my favorite things about flash food we got salami it was originally 353 we got it for a dollar this one was originally 521 got this for a dollar and then like i said it's fun to get like treat stuff that you wouldn't normally get so we got some we got some cronuts for i think they were a dollar 50 regular 349 baby spinach we got for a dollar for juices and then mixed produce boxes this was five dollars and with the price of produce nowadays literally such a good deal because look what we got and everything is in like really good condition we got limes we got oranges we got grapefruit we got i don't know what this is actually a mango i don't know cantaloupe and i'm just gonna juice it all so seriously such 
a good haul, honestly, for 13 bucks. So I will have the flash food like link and everything down below for you guys. Goodbye. Ugly gray blue couch. <laughs> oh wait, this one has a, a gut. Yeah. Hey. Behind the scenes filming of the brand deal. Stella is hashtag overwhelmed. So then where's the ottoman cushion? Okay, that is, the ottoman itself is probably has the cushion on it. Oh. So, Stella? <laughs> Stella decided she needs to drag the couch. Are you kidding? <laughs> Stella, are you kidding? What is going on in this wait, world? Wait, 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 don't get mad at her. What do you think? Stella, where's, what are you doing? You had to try the new couch out? You had to try it out? What do you think? Oh, you're yawning. It must be so good. You can take a nap. Yeah, because it's got a... thought on the couch very nice Stella show me that cute butt what's your first thought look at this dog right now so what are you doing what are you doing get on the couch go 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 it's like we have a senior dog literally do we have a senior and dog? Matt and I are gonna get one of the um they're like these really skinny console tables that go back here just because obviously this couch is bigger than our other one so we're not gonna keep the of, um Wow, this works. Yeah. <laughs> that thick pizza. Wine Wednesday. Chicken burger Wednesday is turned into freezer pizza Wednesday. Be... Yummy. Okay, I'm very curious. Tell me down below what your favorite appetizer is because mine will forever be mozzarella sticks or jalapeno poppers. But we got some broccoli. These are like nacho bites, mozzarella sticks, and then this is like the Brazilian cheese bread they serve in Epcot. We just get it at Sobeys and it's so yummy. Stella is actually living her best life. Look at this cutie man setting up his iPhone. Do you love it? I'm struggling. I'm struggling. <laughs> so early and I am like half asleep but it's like 7 50. I just got up and did my makeup really quick just because I have a lot of meetings first thing this morning and yeah I like to have my camera on for them so that's what's going on but obviously I'm at home. I don't think I'm gonna go into the office today it's like storming well it's supposed to start storming like all day today. Can I talk? I'm literally not awake. It's gonna storm all day today so I think that is the thing that I really love about having a hybrid job with no set days in office though is that like if I wake up and decide I don't want to go in I don't have to. Half asleep we had no clean mugs so I'm using Matt's astronaut mug today. Love a good little everyday astronaut repping Tim Dodd over here. And we're very comfy cozy today in some sweats. I actually ordered, I have a bunch of packages to show you guys today because this is the thing. And Zoe Pritchard was touching on this in her re most recent monthly money update is that it's not about how little you spend, it's about how good you feel about the purchases. And I really enjoyed that mentality because I think I forget sometimes that spending has an emotional component to it and it doesn't have to be bad. But I definitely did like buy myself some things this month. And when I reflect on it, I don't feel bad about them. I don't think any of them were impulse purchases. Like I'm really happy about all the purchases. And... Should I have bought the things I bought? I mean, granted, I did buy anything crazy. The cardigan was probably, this was like, I don't think on clearance for like 25 bucks at Dynamite. But point being is I have a haul for you guys and some packages, which is not very often. So I'm just waiting for a few more things to come today. But I just really, that really got me thinking that I was kind of beating myself up about like 
you know, I was buying myself some things this month. That I probably didn't need all of them, but I'm not upset about them. Like, for example, I bought myself an air tag to put in my suitcase, which I think is just something that we should have because of like us traveling. Um, but did I need to spend the $50 on it? Probably not. But am I happy I made the purchase? Yes. Does this make any sense? I hope it does. But anyways, long story short, I really wanted a cardigan. Um, I really don't own any cardigans. I have like that light gray one you guys see me wear sometimes, but it's really fuzzy and it like leaves fuzzes on like my shirts. So I donated it and I was on the search for a nice long cardigan that was casual, but I could also dress up because when I travel for work, I'm like, wait, what do I even wear? Can I still wear sweats to the airport? And I was like, maybe I'll wear a cardigan and just like leggings so I'm comfy. So I was looking for a cardigan I could dress up. Um, and then I found this on Dynamite's website on like their Boxing Day sale. It was like, I want to say like 20 bucks or something. And I love it. Cause like I said, you can dress it up or dress it down. I'm just wearing it with some sweats. I love watching unboxings, which is ironic as a personal, like someone who likes to talk about personal finance. But like I said, not all spending has to be bad and yeah, like I didn't even go above and beyond. Like I wasn't even buying expensive things. I was just like buying things I probably didn't necessarily need. For example, I bought myself a scalp massager off of Amazon. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. But the plan for the day is it's gonna be pretty busy with some meetings, honestly. Like I said, I have my one-on-one -on -one with my manager. I have that at 9.30, so I'm just gonna try and get some work done before then. And I really wanna buckle in and get some uh, HR stuff done today. I think the one thing about HR that I'm not used to is that like a lot of it is like, chunks of work so i have to submit like a bunch of new forms for all of our new employees that are starting next summer or all the new doctors and stuff like that takes a good chunk of my time so i think i might buckle in put my headphones on and do that today and just complete all those new forms because i have to send out like offer letters and letter or objective like job yeah all that stuff so I wish I could talk more about what I do because it's so interesting. But yeah, I have a lot of like HR new hire stuff to do today. And I kind of want to honestly just do it in one chunk. You love this new couch? I think you do. <laughs> but yeah, good morning. Cheers. Let's jump into it. And one of the things I'm trying to be better about this year is like letting my hair be greasy. Like having slicked back hairstyles is like trendy right now. So I'm trying to learn to like be okay with it. Like the second my hair is a little bit greasy, I need to wash it, which is not healthy for my hair. So I'm learning how to embrace the grease, you know, not for like seven days, but like three ish days. So yeah, I put some of the verb oil in it. I came with my shampoo and conditioner and yeah, let's jump into work. Good morning. 10.15. I just got off my one-on-one. -on -one. It's kind of complicated because I report to a manager of like, like my manager is not the person I have one-on-ones with. It's like I technically have like just a hospital manager, like the area that I work in, um, but I work directly with one of the doctors. So I consider him like also my manager. I have my one-on-one -on -one with him because he's the one that I work with and it's just us on the team. So anyways, I had my call with him and I was just like, I don't know if I'm going to make it into the office this week. And he's like, oh my gosh, it's okay. It's like literally like snowing. Like no one expects you to come in if the snow is crazy. Cause I was like, I might try and come in tomorrow. But also the thing too, that I struggle with is that like, because I only work three days a week, it's like very disruptive. I mean, a lot of people talk about this, right? How like, if you're a hybrid employee, sometimes like going in like once a week can be really disruptive to your routine if you have a good routine going. And because I already only work three days a week, it can be hard for me to go into the office because it's very disruptive when you're only working three days. So I think I might try again next week, honestly. And that's why I love having a job like this that like there is no requirement to go in because we're supposed to get, I didn't even realize this, but we're supposed to get 30 to 40 centimeters of snow. And I do not want to be driving to work for a half day if I don't have to. So I think I'm just going to work from home, honestly. Um, but I will, I do want to vlog when I go into the office. So I'll probably vlog that next week for you guys if I go in. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to gonna go in this week unfortunately i was excited too but it's just too much going on um but i just made myself some breakfast i made myself some yogurt with granola and fruit i'm so sorry we're not going into the office this week mother nature said no but it'll be fun to plan the snow stella at least so noon i don't know where the day is going the day is just flying by but 
I just made myself, this is the leftover half-calf coffee I had yesterday. So I just threw it in the fridge, have a little half-calf cold brew. And I made myself a sandwich for lunch. Does anyone else just like not enjoy putting veggies on their sandwich, but like I'll eat them on the side. So I have a cucumber and then I made the sandwich with turkey brie and prosciutto and like a ton of baby cucumbers cut up. Yum. But I would like an afternoon beverageino. But what do I want? That is the question. Ah, the angels are singing. This would be so much better with pebble ice. You know, this would just be elite. I need a snack. Tell you how much I love my Stanley because it's the perfect little tripod, honestly. But I'm really happy because I'm hitting my 2 p.m. slump, but I've done my top three tasks for the day. You guys know I do like top three priorities for the day and I've already done them all. So I'm really feeling happy about that. And typically today is like my Friday, but I am going to work a few hours tomorrow just because I haven't cleared out my inbox yet. And I really like to do that before the end of the week, obviously. So basically I want to get like all of my like not hard work done. Yeah, like my hard work done for the week. So that Friday I can just focus on clearing out my inbox in my action required folder. But I have my last meeting at 2. It's 1.56. So I'm just taking a little 5 minute, 10 minute breather. Went and got my Dr. Pepper. Um, and then after that, I'm just going to try and get some extra work done. Um, and yeah. So, whoa, whoa, whoa. And yeah, I'll give you guys an update after work and then we can open some packages together. How fun is that? Hi guys, we're on the floor of my office because it's the only spot I have an overhead light that I can film this little haul because it's starting to get dark out because it's like four o'clock, which also means I need to take Sel to the dog park. But we're gonna do a little haul. Sel's over here literally pouting because I'm not taking her to the dog park, but she can wait a hot sec. Dynamite, which I already showed you guys the sweater that I haven't taken off all day and i wanted the free shipping and oh this is a good mama jama hair clip the shipping was the like it was free shipping over 75 dollars or something like the shipping was going to cost me 15 bucks or i could have this 15 dollar hair clip and get free shipping so like obviously if i'm going to pay 15 dollars give me the hair clip as you guys know i have a lot of hair so i need huge hair clips so this is actually perfect this is going to be so good i can't wait I can't wait. Next is Amazon. I just got a restock on my collagen, which I did get a package from them a few vlogs back because I'm actually working with them. But it is, well, one of them is bone broth flavored and then the other one is like a calming one. And I tried that in the morning and it literally put me to sleep because it's meant for the nighttime because it has like magnesium and stuff. So I just need like the good old normal one. So I picked that up on Amazon and then um tiktok told me i needed a scalp massager so what did i get a scalp massager oh i came with a scrunchie that's cute but oh i'm gonna try this in the shower tonight i'm so excited you want to see it's not a toy Stell thinks it's a toy but it's not Ooh, i obviously had to get the neutral color so i love that what do we got here Oh, maybe this is my air tag from Best Yeah, it is. Sweet. Uh, then this is just I like I said I got an air tag for my luggage because I'm traveling for work a ton, so I got an air tag from Amazon or from Amazon from Best Buy. I'm very excited about, it. and I know what it is because it had her name on it. But Kayla, who is one of my dearest internet friends, is the sweetest, and Anna Huang is one of my favorite authors. I literally have the whole Twisted series right there. And Kayla went to a like event that Anna Huang was at. And she asked me if I wanted a signed book. And I said, uh, yes, please. So Kayla got me. I'm literally gonna poop myself. I'm not ready to open this yet. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Oh my God, it literally says my name. I thought I was just gonna say Anna. <gasps> you guys, it says to Carter. Twisted Games is my favorite book out of the four. It's number two. Rudy, Bodyguard, and Princess. I think I'm gonna reread it, honestly, just because now. Kayla, if you're watching this, I love you so much. Thank you so much. You're the bestest. Last, we have my gal, Sephora. 
This is not very exciting, but I'm always in awe of how quick Sephora stuff gets to you. Um, I just got a restock on my hyaluronic acid because I was out. And so, like I said, Sephora is just the spot that you can get it the quickest. So yeah, just got hyaluronic acid. And then I love trying new eye patches, eye masks, and these ones look so fun because they're freaking sparkly. So these are the, I don't know what the brand is. Is the brand Ink? Oh, Incredible Party Recharge Eye Masks. And I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you can kind of tell, but they're really sparkly. So that is so fun. But that is my haul. Like I said, it's like kind of exciting. A bunch of random stuff that I just ordered throughout the last like week and a bit. Um, now that I'm looking back on it, it's not overly exciting. It's like collagen, a scalp massager. This is the most exciting though. I actually literally think I'm going to reread it to be quite honest. But yeah, we made it through another work day. Let's go to the dog park. Do you want to go to the dog park? look at all of the snow outside look how crazy that is there's so much i'm surprised i feel like still has not moved from this position in like two days whenever i work like a half day on fridays i always let myself work from the couch as like a little reward so i've just been working from the couch all morning okay you guys this does not look cute but i'm so comfy right now i literally i just i'm so comfy we got the hair up in a clip it's two o'clock and let me update you guys as to where i've been Nowhere except the grocery store. <laughs> Hi guys, hello. First off, I have a honkin', well it's not even a big zip, but I had my pimple patch on earlier and I ripped it off too hard and it made it bleed, so it's very red, so let's ignore that. Second of all, I haven't vlogged much today because I wasn't planning on vlogging. Like I was gonna end this off and start a new vlog. I had a whole like date day planned out for myself, but the roads are just way too bad. I'm not going to be bopping around Ottawa. Like, I literally was going to bop around the city and do different things. It was going to be such a fun video, but we'll just do it Monday instead. We're just going to keep this vlog going until the end of the day, honestly, because why not? I finished work at noon, and then I sat on the couch for a little bit. I've already shoveled twice. I have to go back out and shovel a third time. But I, I think I said this earlier in the video. I had some Amazon packages to return, so I was like, you know what? The roads aren't, like, the roads aren't, well, the, they're, like, meh. They're pretty not great. But I was just going up the street and I was like, okay, well, I'm here. I'm going to pop into the grocery store and I scored some goodies. My obsession with like the clearance section of the grocery stores is just unreal. So I'm going to give you a very random grocery haul. I was out of turmeric for my lemon shots, my ginger shots. And you obviously have to do black pepper, but we only have peppercorns. And it was just like a hassle to grind it up. So I just picked it up because it was two for five. So I got turmeric and black peppers. Um, did anyone know that Alani made sparkling water now? Also, I find it funny that like barely any Alani new products are in Canada, but I randomly found this. It's peach flavored. It looks, it looks kind of yummy. It looks kind of yummy. Um, got lots of ginger for my ginger shots. And then I saw this and I want to try it because I'm a sucker for anything that's a drink. Tribe Blackberry Sage Apple Cider drink sounds yummy and then matt and i obviously love eating pasta who doesn't it's a cheap meal and i love having garlic bread 
So I found this in the cleaner section, 30% off. It's 16 pieces. So I'm going to freeze that. Amazing. And while I'm at it, I also want to go through our deep freezer because obviously stuff stays good a long time. But there is some stuff in that freezer that has been in there since we moved almost two years ago. And I just need to go through it. Um, I also just got these croissants that were on clearance as well, 50% off. So random grocery haul. Oh, and these are my favorite, these turkey pepperoni. And I've been slacking on my protein, so I had those. And then you guys, the drugstore finally had it. I've been checking like every time I drop my packages off, but they finally had the e.l.f. Halo Glow liquid filter. I got the one for light skin. They literally never have it. And then someone on TikTok said that I should try the e.l.f. brow lift so i got that as well because i had pc points to redeem so free free is fun um but yeah so my plan for the rest of the afternoon is i'm gonna go and shovel again and then like i said i want to go through the freezer and kind of empty that out and try and be a little bit productive because matt's actually having a guy's night tonight and you know i could really text a friend and ask if they want to hang out but i just want to be by myself it's so bad i just love my own company so y'all y'all know the drill pause this and say what i'm getting for dinner if matt's not here I'll give you three two one taco bell so i'm very excited about that um let's make some lunch thanks for coming to my ted talk hey guys update i opened this and tried it and it literally tastes like medicine it's disgusting so i do not i do not recommend okay oh. hi guys okay i haven't moved in like two hours it's 4 30 i am indeed wearing the same cardigan as yesterday sue me got a nice view of the snow over here and i've just been sitting here reading the i just finished a book and then these are my two current reads i pre-ordered the printery book so long ago matt to get home so we can go to the dog park it's still snowing 24 hours later love that for us i love this man so much matt just came home i'm gonna convince him to give you guys a grocery haul because you love them but he just said here you go babe i got you some cinnamon rolls for your night at home i love this man and if you didn't know cinnamon rolls are my favorite thing in the world like my favorite dessert so i'm so excited here you go is this look good there you go. There you go. And then I got this for Carter because I'm going to be gone tonight. I figured it would be nice. And I also got her a box of wine because... Oh, that's for me? I thought that was for you. No, I got two bottles of oh wine my to God, bring. Oh, so sweet. Yeah, so I got you a box of wine. This wow, is for Carter tonight. This is dinner. And then I got wine. I don't know. This one oh, looked good. Oh, that good. Was good. The it's like it Weight Watchers, good. but it's really good. It did. I was like, oh, this looks really nice. Mm -hmm. And then I also got this one too because this one looks really good as well. I don't know what this means. Light, full flavored. Like, is it a diet one? I don't know, <laughs> but like honestly, it looked nice and it's Jackson Trigg, which we stand because <laughs> it was 50% off. Baby, don't do a good job. Why? Oh, milk because it was 50% off, and then I got yogurt for myself because it was 50%. You... All of the vanilla was 50%. That's crazy. Not a single plain. In, in the oh. <laughs> guys, we got a beloved second for dinner because Taco Bell was not doing Uber Eats. We got. They're gonna be cold, I bet. Oh! A and W onion rings are like crap. They're so salty. I also got jalapeno ranch. I've never had it. It's new. Let's try it. Mmm! Oh my god, that's so good. I'm so hungry. It's like seven o'clock. And then we got a double buddy burger with mozzarella. And then I just got my second buddy burger on like a lettuce wrap, whatever. Not because I'm like keto or anything. I just really wanted some extra like greens in my life. And I feel like AW is like one of the only spots that does it right because it's like super thick and crispy. And I honestly just literally crave like iceberg lettuce. So that's the dinner. Yum. A delicacy.